on each of the main thinkers that are covered in this book, that is Plato, Aristotle, Plotinus and Thomas Aquinas. And Pearl sees in each of these thinkers a thread that carries on, a conversation that begins with the pre-Socratic philosopher Parmenides, who proclaimed that the same is for thinking as for being. It's the title of this book. In other words, what this means is that being is just that which is intelligible to consciousness, and consciousness is just that which apprehends being. So the two are coextensive, and there is no sharp dualism between the mind and the world. And Pearl says that it's this claim that is not only the basis for classical metaphysics, but this is what makes any metaphysics possible. In Pearl's words, quote, the only alternative to Parmenides' insight that the same is for thinking and for being, the insight which is metaphysics, is the postmodern and nihilistic notion that reality itself is a construct, a myth, an illusion, that there is no such thing as reality. So it's this collapse of metaphysics and of the good faith in our consciousness to commune with reality that Pearl believes leads to modern nihilism. Uh, this is a view I've come to share, and to me it's much more powerful than the Heideggerian or the Nietzschean explanations of nihilism which blame metaphysics itself. Now in some other interesting insights, Pearl argues that Plato never posited a world of perfect forms or as the forms existing in some other realm, but instead the platonic forms are just the identity or the whatness or essence of things. He also argues that Aristotle is a Platonist whose theory of forms doesn't actually differ very much from Plato's at all, and that Thomas Aquinas is best understood as a Neoplatonist whose philosophy, including his conception of God as pure act, is closest to the Neoplatonist philosopher Plotinus, underscoring how much of Catholic philosophy in this medieval Western civilization was influenced by the ideas discussed. Pearl sees Aquinas as the culmination of this rich tradition of classical metaphysics. 